Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. <clears throat> in the last episode, we continued our town here in the Woodlands, the Royal Woodlands, and did some decent expansion. And uh, I forgot at the end of the last uh, storm to turn down the sacrifice. So we burned a lot of extra wood, as someone pointed out in the chat for yesterday's episode. Oopsie. So we have... Um, well, we're digging in here. Good, good. I think we'll break that. Let's see. There we go. Oh, that's a new thing. Uh, leaking cauldron. Also, a provisioner, large abandoned cache, fertile soil, bleeding tooth mushroom, and moss broccoli. Uh, while we're working on this, uh, all food production was 90% slower. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the way, the sickness here, I have passed the stage of um, ridiculous coughing, and now it's back to throat clearing again. Uh, I think and uh, if we let the 10 minutes pass then a toxic substance of unknown origin destroys all plant crops in farm fields and uh, also we get a foul taste foul tastes terrible food tastes terrible excuse me due to the contaminants from a leaking cauldron minus 80 global resolve all right so we need to get this attacked fairly quickly here um, should we do the the goods or should we do no we're getting we're getting a bonus to those both of those. We're getting barrels automatically. We still don't know if this affects the barrels as well, but I think we're just gonna take this option and let's see who we can assign here. I need to find a beaver. I think I'll just pull one out of there and uh, throw a beaver at this as well as a lizard. And let's get them started. Over here, these uh, ladies are just about finished here, uh, clearing this out, so that's good. Actually, they are finished. <laughs> Moments moment that is an insane leaky that looks like Caladorn going on a tirade there um only with four legs instead of eight or more um yeah i think i want to take a screenshot of that just because it's hilarious let me um let me do this and take a screenshot quickly that could be a good thumbnail for the episode, in fact. Okay, here we are. The Provisioner gets us the ability to make provisions, building materials, coats, and flour. All at one star, which isn't a bad deal. Uh, we have really need trade goods. And somebody was yelling at me that I needed to start making trade goods, and they're right. Of course. We need to find the place where we can make them, though. Uh, right here. And we need to find the thing we want to make them with, and I think that'll be it, at least for now. So let's go with... Um, 20, I think, was the number. 25, in fact. Uh, we could actually just go to 30. That's fine. And I'll throw a couple of people in here, probably. One of each, that's fine. Uh, I have a free beaver again, so I think I must have had one of them working on that. So we'll throw them in there. Let's go and take this uh, jerky order. Get that done. And then we can do this. Provisioner we now don't need. We have one available to us. Greenhouse and herb garden. And then the uh, market, I think, is what we'll probably take because we don't really need the herb garden at this stage, I don't think. So let's just go ahead and take the market. And we'll get that going as well. Uh, down around here somewhere. I was also being yelled at in the chat for not properly highlighting what these bonuses are for these different uh, services buildings. So by having all three people working here, and I, I waited, I did show this, I think, by the end of the episode, but uh, Gleeman's Tales is once you have all three people working here, uh, you get a plus three to global resolve. Here we need a couple of lizards to work, which I think I'll grab as soon as we get them freed from other tasks. I suppose I could swap in a human here. <clears throat> That'll get us uh, hostility decreased by a hundred. Plus, obviously, these, if we can ever, if we ever get these going, as yes, you heard that drop down a whole level there. We had uh, lizard houses and human houses going. We do need to get the beaver houses going as well. Although I'm slightly less worried about those because we have plenty of space here. I think that's probably fine, actually. Um, let's move you over here also. <clears throat> and I think we can probably do this as well. Uh, are we getting roots on, on the shipment? No, we have plenty of them. We have plenty of broccoli, too, so we'll just do that. We'll take the gold for it, or the amber for it here, and we'll turn a couple humans in there. 
And we got our final building offering. We have an apothecary. We haven't activated it yet, but we have one. Uh, so a library or a guild house seems reasonable. Um, what do we have currently as far as the different buffs go? Oh yeah, we could do this as well. Uh, we have Leisure, Brotherhood, and this will give us uh, small wooden carts. Global carrying capacity is increased by five. Oh, that's useful. Uh, so Leisure and Brotherhood, Leisure and Luxury, and Religion and Brotherhood, if we can get the materials to supply them. Uh, we can make some of them, like we can make... Is it here? Here we can make incense. We might want to do that. Because um, we need to get the Lizard Resolve up anyway. The humans and the beavers are really close there. So that's fine. Uh, we could we could hit them up, though. We're, we're doing plenty of uh, leisure right now. That, that takes care of both the humans and the beavers. So I think we need to focus on this. So as soon as we get a few more people, uh, we'll, we'll take care of that. But uh, the, the guild house is going to give us luxury only, which is only the, the beavers. And uh, I don't know what the passive effects do. And the uh, the library is going to give us education, which I think is also only beavers. But excavation team and the crown chronicles. Hmm. This is, will this tell us what they are? Oh, this will tell us. Okay. The, the guild house gets us uh, with one worker. Traders will arrive 50% quicker. Not a horrible thing. And with three workers, we get... Uh, for each amber that goes through the guild, a small part goes to support the locals. Gain a stack of the wealth effect each time you sell goods worth 80 amber. Mm. Oh, it's retroactive. Okay, good. And the library? This gets us... Uh, didn't we have this one? Maybe I had this one in my test games. Uh, 30 ore, 30 cap ore and 30 eggs when we discover a glade. We're not going to be discovering that many more glades, though. And... Uh, and a stack of wealth effect for each rebuilt or salvaged ruin the bonus. I think this one. I think I like this idea better. Let's let's take the uh, library. Because we have the tavern here. Yeah, we'll do the library. Unless there was a library here that I didn't reactivate that I should have reactivated. How close are you to being done? You're done. You're just unloading. Okay. Okay, I at least didn't lose my mind in this situation. Possibly. Uh, how about right here? We'll just put these all kind of in the same area. It's pretty good though. We got four of these buildings in one game. <clears throat> I don't think we need two lizards in here though, because they're obviously able to keep up. So let's throw a lizard in here to start with, and then we can throw maybe a human in there to add in. That's done. Uh, this needs hammers. We need to make some hammers. Uh, I think we have the ability to make hammers. We have an order we can turn in, though. Let's see. Ah, uh, the first trade goods one is done. This one, we we haven't been making clothes, so we're not going to get that one. But we're only one point away, so if we can get this resolve ish issue finished, that'll be good. I think we need to ch chew up these trees right here. So we can put in some uh, additional... Housing. We'll move this one here. There we go. Excellent. Dig, dig, dig. And... I can always kind of cheat my way through it if I need to. Work on that. That one I need hammers for. Oh, hammers. That's what I was going to look for. Can I make hammers someplace? Tools. Not there. I don't know that I have any of the buildings to make the tools. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. The people we have free. Uh, but this one might. Can this make tools? No. Flour, copper bars, and incense. Well, maybe actually I should have done... I should have done that one instead of this one. Can I cancel this? Am I too late to cancel it? I don't think so. I think we'll do... I think we'll do this one. Well... Do we have a way to do baking? Or is that going to be a waste to make flour at this point? It is. We'll just do this one. It's closer to town. I don't have to build another storage or anything. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And they are cranking out the packs here. Nice. This is just about done. Oh, I stole all the workers. Oops. Uh, we'll let you deliver. And then I'll pull out one of, the, one of them so they can go and finish this up. Sorry about that. Although I could pull, like, some of the beavers off of this, too. 
Lizard resolve is low. Okay, what do we have here? Oh yeah, we need to put a we can put a beaver in here. Wait, I have all these humans, where'd they come from? And we'll do it anyway. Uh, that should help matters. I can throw the other human in here. Let them finish that up. They must have been finishing up one of the uh, one of the glade events. I'll be darned if I can remember which one it is. So we can't make tools. We don't have anywhere to make tools. So we need to buy them. Speaking of buying them. We can make them at the lumber mill. Um, we can also just buy them, though. Let's do this. Uh, we have a ton of packs of crops. Because, as someone pointed out, I am getting free packs of crops from this. So let's uh, let's buy what we need. Anything we might possibly need here. Which is not going to be much, because there's just eight hammers there. But we can buy them with uh, packs of crops. And any food we need or anything. Uh, no, we got a lot of food now. <laughs> we have a lot of food. Um, smokehouse. Or jerky. Okay, you are making jerky. But I could use another lizard in there. Um, so a lot of the food we have is raw food. We are making mush soup, but maybe we should switch that up to be broccoli and roots. Because we're not making enough mush soup. Okay, uh, so we're kind of okay on food. I want to buy the lumber mill so we can make our own tools. And is there anything else I really want to buy? I don't think so. And eight tools isn't even going to be enough. Uh, for tool making, we need to have uh, copper and something else. I like those numbers. And something else. Uh, maybe there is fine. We could use some beavers for that work. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Let's go ahead and take our cornerstone. Uh, I guess we'll go with this option. And here, I'll take the two beaver options so I can put them in here. Anything else that I can use to buy here? Um, other than buying food that I don't really need? I don't think so. I could take the grain boost. No, we're not even growing grain, are we? Are we getting the free, free grain? Or are we growing grain? We're growing grain. So I could buy the grain boost. We definitely have the amber for it. I might as well. Um, we... Don't really need the clay boost because, uh, well, actually we could. Where's my stone cutter? If only I could find the stone cutter. It's not there. Oh, here it is. And they are collecting roots. Um, I think they're just about done though. I don't see any nodes there. So we're going to actually go after the clay very soon. Let's go ahead and take that too. That'll actually give us two of those. So we already have it. And why the heck not? Let's let's also do this. Uh, get 20 potter if you're opening a clay. Why not? And then I guess I could just sell some of these packs. To get some amber. Uh, actually, I could just sell all the packs. There we go. No, I needed those. Idiot. Dang it. Uh, we can make more, I guess. Um, we can make them at the Provisioner if we activate it. No, we can't. Uh, packs of crops are only made... That was really stupid. Although, I'm not going to make the luxury goods, so it's probably pointless to think about, even. Um, packs of crops. Granary or pantry. Yeah, we don't have any of those. Okay, let's um, let's see about this tool thing. Let's see if we can open up some of these caches and get another three quarters of a point. Assuming we can't get everybody happy enough, which I think we might be able to pull off if we want to cheese the game a little bit. But right now we kind of don't have enough wood to do that with, or enough fuel to do that with. As a matter of fact, right, so hold a left stone cutter camp. Yep, I thought so. We have a ridiculous amount of clay over here. Uh, starting with this one. 
and then those. So, uh, we should be set on clay for the rest of our lives. A uh, couple of beavers in here. Uh, where are we making? Yeah, here we are. Let's pull one of these out, too, because we don't need two of them in here, especially if we're doing this. This and this. Uh, these. 12 logs or three planks. Um, 12 logs is... Uh, well, this is one to one, so 12 logs is 12 planks, so that's way cheaper. Uh, we are smelting copper, so we do have some copper. We also have a little bit of crystallite too, so we can make some of these tools. I'm going to set this at 20, and uh, we're not going to make flour because um, I don't think we have anything we can cook it with flour. Oh, you could make biscuits, so we could make flour. I forgot about that. Did I say that I wasn't going to do this one because of... Oh, okay. That's what I did. So we could make flour and biscuits then, too. I think I'm going to let them do this part first. Because we need to have planks and we need to have the tools. So, for uh, happiness, we could try and do this. We may also need to force feed some fuel in here to pull it off once they stabilize. But I want to see how far the lizards will actually get before I uh, boost the fuel any. Because it's bringing down the humans a little bit and the beavers too. But the beavers are well above their number. Whereas we're trying to get the lizards as high as they'll go. Who likes working here? Humans do. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to make tea because we're making... Um, making uh, beer, but we could make some incense. We, I guess we could start with using the herbs. We'll probably switch that up a little. And we can go ahead and let them make biscuits too, uh, but not with the herbs. Let's make the biscuits with, uh, with the roots. We could probably switch that to roots too. We could also use the resin. Herbalist, uh, you were picking mushrooms. Uh, where might we also have... Ah, there's a few mushrooms right there. Let's pull a path over to it. There you go. So I think I can turn this one in. Uh, let's just throw a couple people at this to salvage. And for this one... Well, we could try and get the clothing thing, so let's actually go ahead and turn, or get this one started. Um, and then if it comes down to it, we can, uh, I wonder which side the entrance is on. I think it's on this side. Uh, we can start making coats there and try to get this if we need it. Okay, so they're not there yet, but they're close. Let's do this. See how much waste, see how much fuel we can waste. Just about there. Go, go, go. And then I think they need to be idle for a minute or so. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay, everybody's happy. Nobody's dropping. Low on fuel, I know, I know, we need to, come on, just a little bit longer. No, no, we lost it, dang it. Alright, well hopefully we can save up some more fuel here. Uh, let's, let's not chop those trees though, folks. Oh, we got it, never mind. Um, <clears throat> I think we'll just go ahead and bail out of here and, uh, see what we can pull off. So that was Moss. Uh, we have these guys coming in here to try to steal our, our thunder, so we're going to take that from them. Um, what else is close? Anything else? No. Yep, we're going to go, I think, right there. Because I want to do Scarlet Orchard. We haven't done on one in a while, I don't think. Uh, we could do the Coral Forest, but I'll get more points, or I'll get more food, rather. 
from doing the Scarlet Orchard, so I think I like that one better. Before we do that, let's go into the city. No deeds to turn in, but we could potentially look at one of these. That's the one that I don't like. Yeah. This one we can't afford yet. This one we can't afford yet. We could do this one. Um, nah. That's the only one we could afford. So let's uh, not do any of those. Not do any of those. And let's go here and steal this from the Brass Order. And get our, uh, get our eight machinery and our 45 food. We'll take the hammers again. This uh, meat is good because it's 30, especially. And then one more. Um, what do we have? Lots of roots. Eggs are decent. Well, I think we'll go with broccoli then. There's 30 broccoli too. I think that's good. This is a punishing severity. Uh, because we're eight tiles out, so we, um, we're we going to be able to find ruined settlements here. Uh, we have our reinforced reinforced axes, not reinforced, reinforced axes, so that's good for chop, tree chopping, clearing uh, into uh, new glades, and a manuscript, dehealing, burning rights, so fuel burns 25% longer. We have one green and four red uh, conditions. Let's go. <clears throat> All camp production is increased by 100%, but all buildings using fertile soil have their yield decreased by 50%. As we talked about this one before, I'm pretty sure this only applies to greenhouses. Because the only the only buildings that can uh, have yield on fertile soil. Uh, clay pits, too. I do know there's a clay pit um, that I learned about at some point. Um, I remember this in an episode or not. But uh, Lumi Darkness, of course. Muddy Ground. We know about that one. Rotting wood. Um, woodcutters cut trees 50% faster, but have a 100% chance to destroy their yield. Okay. So they're still going to ch chop away. They just might lose the lose the stuff. But for chopping with beavers, they're getting enough bonuses anyway. That's probably okay. Uh, strange lights. We need services by, by hostility 4. Otherwise, we will have a 10% chance to destroy the yield. And then by hostility 5, we have nauseous spores. I think we had in the last one. And that uh, increases break time to plus 200% of normal time. Uh, just for humans and beavers. None of these affect just lizards this time. Uh, but the, this one affects all three. Strange Lights does. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And see what we can find out. Uh, let's see, we have some small glades here and here. That'll be good to dig into to start with. Then we have lots of big ones that are danger zones. All right. Let's go with a woodcutter's camp. And a stonecutter, no. And a scavenger, maybe. Uh, yes, actually, yes. Because there's some reeds here we can use. Uh, forager, not yet. Trapper, yes. Um, for the eggs. The workshop's always a good one to, to look at. Uh, we could do the carpenter or the supplier as well. Or the kiln gets us the coal recipe. I think we see coal on these maps. Uh, in the Scarlet Orchard? I can't remember now. Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Um, I think we'll go with... Oh, I can put this down. I think we'll go with the workshop. Because at least gets us all that stuff started. And these are all planted on soil. So I want to see if, how much soil we actually see. And then we can uh, re-roll it if we aren't seeing any in the first glider, glider till we open up. Here and here. Mm -hmm. and there. And right here. I think we'll just pop into this one first. As good as any. Here. Three beavers. Beard. I'm not able to click with the tool. Okay, that works, but I can't select with the tool. Uh, sounds like a bug to me. Uh, let's 
So let's go ahead and assign our lizard to this one. Put them over here. Assign our lizard to this one. Put them down here. And I'm not sure what to do about that. It's not letting me select. Let me try restarting the game and I will be right back. And I'm back. It, um, it works. And I forgot to do a fade in, but that's okay. Uh, I was able to, to select those now, and this one down here was actually already selected because I clicked that. Uh, so it actually took some of the clicks that I did as well, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, one pack craft every 10 grain. That's always useful if we're going to produce grain. Don't know if we're going to yet. Uh, 10 amber every time a villager dies, 40 meat every time a villager dies or leaves. Let's hope we don't have either of these, so let's go with this one. Pick the speed up. What are we getting for free out of these? Some roots and some clay. Uh, we need to put down the uh, crude workstation. Like that, maybe. And our first orders. <clears throat> I think we'll go with this option. Uh, we've had these plenty of times before. I think we'll do this option as well. Yeah. And then here... Uh, I don't really want to give up five hammers for anything, so I think we'll go with this option. Even though I don't know that we'll see much super net. And I don't know that I want six more people. But we'll try it anyway. So we need services. That's the only bonus we need need. Everything else is just for generic resolve. Oh, there's some fertile soil. Some herbs. So, decisions, decisions. Now that we took the thing with the wheat, this is very valuable because we get the free packs of crops. Uh, that makes these all less valuable. This is the camp, though, to get the natural or the, the wild herbs, which we do have some. Uh, berries and mushrooms. Uh, I don't know if we'll see either of those. Maybe some berries on this map. I think we'll take the small farm just because of the value of that wheat for crop uh, packs of crops thing. Plus, I can always turn the wheat into more packs of crops if I need to, or just sell it straight up if I want to. I should actually look at that and see how much wheat goes into the packs of crops and how much value they have in amber for each other. We took the workshop. Yes, yeah, so we just need two of each of these. Two. Two and two. A couple of humans. Can you make... Okay, we're going to use reeds for that, and we'll hopefully get enough clay. We don't need to do that. made anything yet? Oh, okay, you've made some... You, you all made cloth. Great. Ugh. Couldn't make two different things. You had to make the same thing. Both. I don't have anything for the stone cutter to do yet. Go to speed three. Kind of the slow time. I mean, I guess I could assign that last human into something, but... You all are bored already? 
Uh, yeah, because you don't have any clay to make the bricks. We should be getting a little bit from these guys, though. Hopefully. Otherwise, we need to find a new source. I think I'll take out a few trees right here. Wait for them to chop that one, though. And some over here. Just gonna give you some space to work with. And here comes a storm. Do they, like, collect the clay or reserve the clay somehow? Because we did have some. Maybe, like, three. <clears throat> but it doesn't really show up there. Okay, you went to get some more. Okay, now we can make... Good, now we can make some bricks. Okay, let's pop you out of here, because we don't need two of them in here. So they had been stockpiling. It's just hidden. You don't get to see where it actually is. Uh, we also need to get this going. The farm going. There. And... We'll put it here, because it's closer to the road. Logic reasons. And I should have done it sooner. Uh, let's see. Meat diet. Or happy beavers. Not gonna need clothing. I think we'll try the meat diet. Hopefully we see some bugs or some uh, uh, brood mothers or something. Packs of crops gets us humans happiness. That's easy to, to, to accept. Plus some parts. Uh, this gets us another boost to woodcutting and some simple tools and some coats. But I think because we have these able to come in, uh, we're going to take that one. because That's a nice, easy one to do. Forge trip hammer. This uh, gives us the ability to make parts in the crude workstation. I like this one though. I think I'll take this one. I, I'm a fan of that uh, that bonus, making the barrels for free. And I think we'll take the one of each option here. Let's move this over by two spots. Sorry, y'all. And I can put in. The um, workshop right here. And let's get these humans to work. Uh -huh. Let's get some of that wheat planted so we can get some of those uh, packs of crops going. Uh, yeah, that's fine for now. I don't think I'm going to start a new thing yet, anyways. New woodcutter. I do want to cut into this though, so maybe we should just make it now and then, uh. Yeah, get them, get them in there soon. Oops, there we go. And then we can clean it up. Well, they got most of it planted, even though we don't have the bonus because of the plowing. Um, they got almost all the fields planted. Looks like they'll get them all actually planted. Two people, 12 fields is easily enough done. When it gets to be about eight a person, then you have a problem. We're still okay. We just can't do this during the storm. That's even only... Wait. Never mind. 
We can we can hop into these glades whenever we want. Are you done now? No, oh, you got a little bit more to go. Okay. I didn't set limits. Oopsie. And I think we're gonna have to change that, but not yet. All right, copper and roots. Uh, that means we can have our stone cutter now. Come up here and cut some roots. <clears throat> and I'll take these out as well. That way I can extend this road. But I think this is actually where we need to leave this episode for today. Before we go, I have a small announcement. And that is uh, tomorrow, uh, if you're watching this in real time, I've been asked to be the um, the streamer on the Steam page for the launch of QB Factorium, which I've done a few series on here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. And uh, so if you're, if you're watching, um, shortly after I usually premiere, uh, these episodes on Thursday the 16th, 1 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, that's 10 Pacific, uh, 6 UTC, 7 uh, CET. Um, I will be streaming on Steam and on YouTube uh, the uh, 1.0 launch of QB Factorium. So uh, if you are available, stop by, chat with me in either platform or both, and uh, see some of the new stuff in QB Factorium, and also get a chance to uh, ask your questions of the developer. So, uh, but otherwise, we're going to leave this here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.